hello friends this is me rohan and today i have got a one plus two with me okay so this device is awesome and has a lot of custom roms available on the internet but after trying most of the roms i finally have found the best rom available for this device this rom is in terms of performance and feature wise the best rom available for this device and now i guess we should begin with the exploring features of this device this rom so here is the settings of this ROM which is just like most of the devices uh, I mean to say the AOSP settings they are them and now let's see the features of this custom ROM you can see on the top right of the settings there is an option and when I press this we get a menu of options which are interface, hardware, ROM controls, device profiles, layer manager, wallpaper, super SU and the Exodus update obviously ok now let's see what we have inside the interface and there we have got the navigation bar, status bar, gestures, lock screen, overview, power menu, landscape immersion mode and let's start with navigation bar here you have option to enable or disable the navigation bar like this and you can also adjust the height of the navigation bar using this button and in the landscape mode obviously you also have option to choose the legacy menu keys which basically increases the size of this menu and now let me disable this okay so we also have an editor option for this where you can add more options to the navigation bar like this now you have to click on this black button and choose the option which you want to have the navigation bar like this okay now let me delete it and here we have got the status bar again okay the first option says the battery style mode where we can choose the battery style mode from circle the plain battery mode etc and then we have the option to hide battery percentage or where we have to display it then we have the AM PM style which obviously is known to you and let me disable it actually the network traffic which displays the incoming and outgoing data packages on the top of the status bar and then we also have a greeting option where you can set anything and the ROM will display it whenever you turn on the device on the notification bar like this we also have system UI uh, tuner where you can add or delete options from your uh, status bar like this and now let's get back and see what do we have in the gestures option we have double tap to wake and I'll show you how it works just turn on the display tap on the screen twice and here it will unlock the device like this then we have double tap to sleep just tap twice on the status bar and the device will sleep again and the double tap to sleep on lock screen which is not very useful feature at least for me okay so then we have the lock screen where you can set wallpaper on the lock screen and clear it obviously now coming back to the power menu here we have the power menu options where you can have the advanced reboot option the blur window which is behind the power menu and i am enabling, enabling it again so now let's see what we have the landscape immersive mode which is actually taking a device in immersive mode whenever you uh, have it in the landscape mode now moving to hardware we have action rebinding where you can adjust the preferences for your hardware keys like home back uh, app switch obviously and i do not use this feature again then we have hardware button disabler which will simply disable your hardware keys and this is not a very useful feature if you are using the hardware keys then we have the gestures where you can adjust for camera music flashlight and haptic feedback so now then moving back we have the power button just press it twice to open the camera and the playback control for your music and the wake on plug which is a useful feature i guess so now let's see what do we have more settings on this rom okay so let me move into the rom control option it is we can adjust the LCD and density which is to set to 480 dpi by default and you can also have a button to toggle the documents UI file manager which is the default one and the OSP app manager which means whenever a google app installs this will automatically uninstall the AOSP application for that purpose and then we have system app remover where you can uninstall the system apps I hope you obviously get this and then we have the SE Linux permissive or option changer 
And finally, we have the device profiles where you can set the profiles for your device, like home, outdoor, etc. And you can have it customized by your own needs, like this sound profile, the lock screen, and everything else in here. Okay, so finally, we have the layers manager, which is a CMT manager alternative. And it is actually also a theme manager and it is actually very good because it has a lot of themes and you can customize your phone deeply. The wallpaper, you obviously know it, and the super SU and the Exodus ROM updater, which is like this, the in-app updater phone. Now let's see some basic features of this ROM, which is in all the devices basically. Here's the display and you can choose the theme from light to dark and the automatic option is also available. The ambient display choosers where you have options for the ambient display, the cast, font size, you can increase or decrease it based on your needs. And then let's see what do we have else. The additional buttons for swapping the hardware keys, uh, I mean to say the back and the recent keys. And then we can also have the notification slider. And then we also have a fingerprint scanner for this on your device and you can set it if you need one so the final wordings will be like this that the ROM has great battery backup and a very good performance okay so I hope you like this video please hit the like button and do subscribe me to support me thanks for watching this video